Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial of landscape, a mountain landscape and I'll be taking you through it. Um, I'll be sharing my thoughts that I have while painting. Starting with the sky, it'll be a gradient of purple to light pinkish and for that I've taken ultramarine blue, alirizidin crimson and titanium white and I've mixed them to make this beautiful shade of purple. This was um, firstly dark so I added white to make it more light on the canvas itself. So I get this question a lot that how do you make a gradient uh, with acrylics or how do you blend with acrylics. Basically mixing two colors and making a gradient effect. So what I do is I put the first color on it um, as you can see here I've put the purple shade and then I put the second shade that is light pink and then I mix through it while it's still wet um, so like I'm fast and I know uh, what speed is good for me but I guess with only time you can understand what is good for you so I would suggest just practice So right now I'm just outlining the shapes of the mountains. This is a purple shade with I I guess more of blue in it and I'm just outlining and putting the color on my canvas to see where all I want the mountains. taken white paint straight out of my tube and I'm putting it all in all those areas where the snow will be. Now for the below part of the mountain and where most of the shadows are. I've taken ultramarine blue and I've mixed the purple that I had on my palette, the leftover paint and I'm mixing it to make it more dark. I love this part uh, when your mountains are just you know coming out of its ugly phase and starts to look more real. I guess painting is a gradual process. You understand as you go and if you're a person who's learning to paint from references or other paintings but is always scared to start then I suggest you know start with some steps. Uh, don't look at the painting as a whole. Break the reference in steps. Um, for example, this painting has four steps, the sky, mountains, lake and then the land. The mountain itself has some steps for it. first we did the background, then added snow, then more details were added. So take it step by step. If you look at the mountain as a whole, it might be daunting for you to start.
Now I'm adding the same color that we made for the below part of the mountains that is dark bluish purple. Uh, I'm adding it randomly on the snow. Uh, these are the areas where the rocks are high and is not covered with snow. painting some pine trees and I've taken a very fine detail brush or you can take any small size round brush Now for the grass part, I have mixed sap green with some black and I am painting the grass right now. I think sap green is the best green that you can have for your nature paintings. It is literally perfect and gives the painting very real look. Now for any lake you would want the color to be of the sky or light of the sky. So after painting this I actually realized that maybe the sky color is too dark and I started thinking whether should I you know redo the sky because it looked too dark if you see the pond or the lake. You in comparison it's too dark and it's just not matching. Anyway, I thought, you know, just let's just see how it goes. So I've taken very, I'm painting over with very light pink. Lastly, I decided to add some little purple with it. What do you do if you don't have sap green? Um, I'll, I'll tell you what to do. Uh, if you have a primary green, what you need to do is you need to darken it a little bit. And to darken it, you need to add ultramarine blue or blue shade that you have and make it more dark. So that is what I've done here. I have added, actually I've added black, but you can definitely add uh, ultramarine blue and burnt umber that is brown with it to make it more look like a sap green or you can just add black with it now you know normally i i just try to cover all the areas that i can with the color that i have and later build on the colors and add more details to the painting that way you know that you know it's covered and you can proceed with the detailing if you just keep doing the one part or adding different colors making different it gets difficult 
I mean it gets difficult for me so that's what I do I normally just cover the space first and then I build on more details Now I'm adding some yellow ochre to some areas on the grass I think this is a great shade to have on your palette if you do nature paintings it makes your grass look so natural Now I'm adding burnt sienna or you can say brown to some areas to give more depth to the painting But I realized this that you know it doesn't look nice, so I improvised. And what I've done now is I am just doing. Um, what do I call it? You can actually see what I'm doing. So I've done this, and this looks much better. adding more pine trees as you can see to some areas on our grass so you know um if you are confused on how to make pine trees pine trees are basically you dab your brush on to the surface and you make that areas for example if you see make a straight line a very thin line and then start putting left right left right left right dabs on your canvas or whatever surface you're working on and that's how pine trees are made add some shadows on the grass i have taken black paint and i'm putting it and i'm just rubbing it with my hand this is a very lazy thing to do if you are doing this um, you should normally just take up dark green or make some dark green and then put it I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and being with me till here. Not many make it. And for more you can check out these other videos that I have or not. Till next time.